It takes a special kind of person to do what that man just did on the TV screen. Good evening, everyone. I can't imagine what it's like to stand at the top of a ramp hundreds of feet in the air with just a pair of skis on, fly down a hill and soar in the air for five to six seconds. Skiers from around the world did just that tonight from a place that's called Suicide Hill. From the ground level, thank goodness, a good crowd gathered at Suicide Hill in Ishpeming for the 127th Annual Ski Jumping Tournament. We pick up the action in the second and final round of jumping. Lassie Moylan in Finland hit the ground at the 85 meter mark. He finished in ninth place. Another international jumper, Michael Kvetter of Sylvania in the air here. He eventually landed at the 89 meter mark. Kvetter finished in fourth place. And the flown distances just increased as the second round went along. Jerry Kaikinen of Lati, Finland, kept his balance down the hill, which is key, covering 85 and a half meters on his second jump. He finished in third place. Your winner tonight, Mike Glaster of Cary, Illinois. His second jump, 94 meters, the longest jump of the night. And I talked with the champion after his second tournament winning run. I was actually struggling a little bit earlier in the day, so, you know, felt really good about that one for the win. It's a little nerve wracking, but. I've been there before, so experience is quite a bit to do with it, but kept it cool and kept the composure good, and there we go. The ski jumpers will now head to Iron Mountain for the Pine Mountain Ski Jumps. The jumping or flying, whatever you prefer, begins on Friday and runs through Sunday.